Wow, I guess I should probably do an update. I haven't been on in a little while. I haven't felt well. I've been busy. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, let me uh, share something kind of cool with you guys. People have been asking and people have been seeing what I've done. Um, I've been using Turbo to and Zim Writer with the Bulk Writer, this tool right here, this wonderful tool, right here with these, with these settings. This is what I'm doing. Um, I just decided to try this out. I used the Tag Generator. I went in here. <coughs> I said, hey, um, I want to activate this. Do some articles on topical authority. I don't remember. I did like 30 clusters. I don't know. GPT-4. Knocked them out. So I've been importing those 100 at a time. And letting Zimrider just do it with bulk. But I've been using a custom prompt that a lot of people have been asking about. And am I going to teach about it? Am I going to give it away? Um, you know, the truth is, um, course was about using Zimwriter in, in other opportunities and fashions and give a different way to look at it. Now, I spent a lot of time and money figuring out and finding a particular way that prompting works for me. The people that have taken the course that um, I've become friends with, that I've tried to share and kind of mentor to and encourage them to develop their own prompt. And they've done it. They figured it out. And it wasn't because I gave them a direct answer. It was because I led them there. Learning something because someone tells you the answer isn't real learning. Then you just repeat. You didn't have a discovery. You're just repeating what someone else did, their own process. There was no understanding that occurred. My friendship, my course, my classes are about helping people have an aha moment. And you can look this up. It creates dramatically amount more neural pathways in the brain than just being told a process. You want everything, the sun, the moon, the stars for a $49 course. Maybe contribute to the community. Maybe bring some value. Develop some friendships. What about the Google Meets? Well, they run 24 hours a day. You log into the course site and you go into your, in fact, I should even show you how to do that. You log into your course site up here in the top right. Click login. And you scroll down here and you're going to see announcements. And here you go. Here's today's link. You click details, it's going to have this. Every morning when I get up, I will put one of these links here. You can come join. Let me help you figure out how to develop your own prompt for your own need. And help you get that aha moment, because that's what's most important. It's not anything else. So, all these articles were posted. None of them been edited. Haven't been edited. In fact, you can see some of these have not been edited because there's no keywords or anything set, right? So let's go view this one. Yes. 
Sorry, in case you guys forget, I'm 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 blind, or at least partially. So let's take this article. I do not believe I've had this indexed yet. So let's find out. It has not been indexed. So let's request it to index. A little slow today. And um, earlier it took about just doing stuff like this. They've been having issues. <coughs> they were saying that there were. Um, my site couldn't be crawled because there was um, the there was no host. I mean, uh, no robots file, which isn't true. I'd tell it to do it again; it would fail. I'd refresh, tell it to do it again. Ah, it would work. So obviously, they have some sort of um, update going on, and it's affecting it. So let's see if it sent the mobile bot to it yet. Yep, there's the smartphone. Remember, Google just announced smart is first. So why waste sending a desktop robot if, because it's not much of a search uh, that, that occurs anymore. So why waste the extra money by sending a desktop bot to go look at it if most of it's mobile? Send the mobile first, because that's if it's not good enough for mobile, then we're not gonna send the extra bot. But the other way, if it was good enough for desktop, then we send it and it's not good enough for mobile. So they kind of wasted that crawl time. So let's refresh and see what's going on now. Oh, still the smartphone, still the smartphone. And it's been interesting because we're just about to a minute and usually it's been under that that would do it. But I'll sit here for a few minutes. I have no problem showing that because Ah, quota exceeded. That's because I've <laughs> quota exceeded because I've submitted them all and they get crawled. Um, so maybe I'll try and show that tomorrow. Um, a lot of people keep asking, so they join the group. I just randomly write an article about feeding your dog or cooking for your dog or whatever. Just a million topics on any topic, any subject, any niche. Can you publish this and get it crawled and indexed? Sure. Will it rank? Yeah, give it a day. May not be first page because I'm not putting the effort into it, but um, it'll be crawled and indexed. Not a problem. So um, if you're curious, stop by. Uh, make sure you check out Matt's training videos. It's very important. A lot of people misunderstand how to use these tools and um, they have huge expectations that you press a button and it's going to be perfect out the gate. It's getting there. Matt is is got an update coming that's pretty fantastic, and I I, I he hasn't released it to the early testers or anything like that. It's just kind of little hints and things he's spoken about. I think I like it. So, you guys, <clears throat> if you're not a user of Zimwriter. Um, check it out. Um, he's ahead of the game just with the ability to use your own prompting while inside the tool in a magic com uh, magic command so I can press control five or six and be able to have my own prompts act on any software. Just as long as it's a text field, I can use GPT right there. So check his software out you guys he's he's fantastic anyhow um i'll try again with some instant indexing tomorrow but apparently i'm out 